So people waste one bajillion hours in meetings a year. Can AI really help us take better meeting notes? Microsoft's bringing out a new AI that brings together Loop and Copilot to help take better meeting notes. And we're gonna have a look whilst it's in previews. Is it better than Intelligent Recap or normal Copilot notes? Stick around to find out everything about Microsoft 365 Copilot Facilitator Agent. Just before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, I'm Gavin Jones from MeTime. We help organizations be more efficient, happening to use Microsoft 365 to do it. If you're interested in finding out more, I've got some free training in the link in the description below. If you want to find out how we can work together and jump straight to a call, then we've got a link for that as well. So just before we take a look at the Microsoft 365 Copilot Facilitator Agent, we'll have a look at the existing methods you can use to get a meeting summary and then see is the Facilitator Agent actually going to be better than those or save us time. Let's have a look at all of that stuff. So I'm in a meeting that I had with Sean and I turned on the Copilot, the recording, the transcript, and I've got a paid Copilot license. So directly in Teams, in the recap of the meeting, I get this AI summary, which is also the same thing you get as Intelligent Recap if you get Teams Premium. So whether you've got Teams Premium or a Copilot paid license, Microsoft 365 Copilot license, technically, then you get this AI summary and it used to be not great when Intelligent Recap came out first and Copilot came out second, but Microsoft have made it better over time and I actually quite like it. It goes into a bit more depth than the Copilot summary, which we'll have a look at in a sec. So it's got a, a collapsible sections. You can sort of jump straight to the right place. You can expand them out and it's got like three or five bullets for each main point. And it tries to do some follow-up tasks for you, but you can't do anything with those tasks. They're not like built into Planner or they don't go into to do for you. You've got to copy and paste these out into a task manager if you chose that they were the right tasks to do. And obviously you can't edit anything in this summary apart from just copying it all out and pasting it somewhere. So we could paste that into OneNote, we could paste it into Word document, we could paste it into, if you use Apple like me, into Apple Notes. You could copy and paste it anywhere. It's just a bunch of text that is might be useful for you to go back and see what the meeting's about, but you can't go and ask it anything about the meeting and the tasks, like I say, aren't actually tasks. They're just written in text. So that's Microsoft Intelligent Recap. Because we've got a paid Copilot license, Microsoft 365 Copilot license, we can click this Copilot button and we can ask it anything about the meeting, which is really useful, um, like someone sitting in the meeting with you and you can go and ask it questions about the meeting. So, oh, did I, what did I say to Sean about when I'd get back to him? You can ask it that and it'll reply. You can also then just use the more prompts and generate meeting notes. So already we've got intelligent recap meeting notes and Copilot meeting notes. And I tend to like these because they're a bit more concise. They don't have the collapsible and expandable sections like you do in Intelligent Recap. It just gives you what it gives you. It, it tries to give you the action items as well. But again, they're just text. They don't go into Planner. They don't go into To-Do. They don't go anywhere else in the Microsoft ecosystem apart from here. And, and again, you can't edit these. It just comes back what it comes back with. You can sort of edit it because you could say, well, could you make that summary more concise? Could you make it more verbose? Could you split each section into five more bullets? You can like tailor what the answer is using Copilot because it's just like any other generative AI. You could ask it to do anything that you wanted to do with that meeting transcript. Again, you can copy and paste it out. So you could then go and put it in Loop or in OneNote or anywhere else you want to store your notes. But it doesn't, it's just for you. So the Copilot at the moment, it doesn't go anywhere else. It's just your view. And if you want someone else to see it, you've got to go and put it somewhere else that they could see it. So you could post it into a team post. Like I say, you could go and put it anywhere else, but the actions don't do anything and you can't edit it. So come in, meeting, facilitator agent from Microsoft 365 Copilot, the paid one. 
this is in preview so it might still have a few bugs but let's go and take a look at what it does so i had it turned on in this meeting with sean i've had it turned on in a couple of other meetings so we can go and check the summaries all together just before we go and have a look at does it actually work and what's it do let's see how to turn it on so if we come into calendar and we create a new meeting this at the time of recording doesn't work with the new teams calendar so if you've got new teams calendar turned on up here uh, and you're in preview then it doesn't seem like you can turn this button on right now but hopefully that'll be sorted before it comes out in general release so when you're creating a new meeting we'll just call this one test you can put your attendees in and this ai generated notes button we can turn on and you can see that pops open the loop component for that meeting down the bottom which you can have right now it's just that that's going to get populated with ai as well as us uh, whilst the meeting's running if we go ahead and join that meeting then you can see that ai generated notes is already turned on so therefore transcript is already turned on and we could start the recording as well if we wanted to but this ai generated notes has been turned on if you hadn't turned it on before the meeting in this notes tab you can then in this ai generated notes just go and flick it on and as we're going through the meeting i'm not sure i'll leave this on long enough copilot starts to write out what's going on in the meeting straight into this loop and if it got something wrong and we wanted to correct it we could go in and type stuff into here as well but copilot can take the notes directly in this meeting note notes loop as well as any other human in the meeting all putting stuff in that loop together so it never puts stuff in the agenda for you as far as i've seen since it's been working but it does put stuff in the meeting notes for you and it puts stuff in the follow-up tasks so if we said in the meeting like i've got a task to go and publish this video i'm hoping if it catches up and starts putting stuff in there it would put that task in to go and publish the video and it would create a task for us so it does go slower than if you had well, obviously, obviously than the transcript if you had copilot open here you could probably ask it stuff about the meeting up to right now and it would be able to answer you a note seems to take a bit longer to start writing things out presumably because it's like wanting to get the gist of what the meeting's about before it actually takes some notes which may or may not be useful depending on how you want to use it and so we'll leave it running in the background and come back to it but we've got some ones that we've done previously so let's go and have a look at those so if we jump back to this one that we had with sean we've looked at the ir summary the copilot and then if we go back into notes now all of these notes apart from me just typing discovery just to get something in there all these meeting notes were written by ai and you can see it's got a little ai icon here not sure if we AI generated content may be incorrect, so we can give it a thumbs up or, or thumbs down to give it some feedback. Um, but any of this AI content, we could go, it says AI generated, so we know, you know that it's not someone that's typed that in, could go and edit that. So it says Milligan, and I presume it's because it's got the, the name wrong. We can just go and correct that, and it's actually Sean that, uh, that that did that and we could go and correct every single one if we were uh, so pedantic obviously it's done it in american so we could go and put it back into the proper way of spelling it obviously in british english and um yeah we could even go and create a whole nother bullet point that um you know ai had not not picked up so we could add to the notes as well which you can't do in ai summary and we can't do in copilot directly Obviously, it's trying to split it down to sections for us, which is cool. Doesn't always do that. And I'm not sure yet. And we'll see. It, it seems to be a bit more like AI summary used to be. So this one tells us a bit about the subject of what we're talking about. 
it does say like who's discussed it like gavin did this sean did this but the note seems to be a bit more like uh sean discussed this gavin discussed this gavin mentioned this gavin explained this gavin blah blah, blah. it seems not as much not as fluid about what we're actually discussing in the to and fro of the conversation as well as some of the other AI summaries, even though it's using the same model, um, maybe that will get sorted out throughout preview. Um, but yeah, the main benefits of using Microsoft 365 Copilot Facilitator Agent is that the AI is typing directly into a loop component, which you can then go and stick in a loop workspace. Also, because it's using loop and the other loop meetings notes component, it puts the tasks directly into a tasks component. And so it's then you can then change the task and it doesn't automatically assign it to people. So it won't directly go in your planner unless you then assigned it to somebody in the organization. Can't still can't assign it to people outside the organization. Uh, and put it a due date, you'd get all the benefits of Planner because it's doing all that chasing for you and it would appear in your tasks assigned to me and all that good stuff. Still got all the downsides of a loop integrating into Planner where it's creating a brand new Planner for you each time you do a meeting note rather than it going into an existing Planner. Hopefully that's something Microsoft can sort out at some point in the future if they're serious about developing a loop, which they seem to be. But yeah, so it, it, it seems useful. I've been trying it out. If you've already got paid Copilot, this is going to come to you as part of that existing license. So it's worth turning on. I guess you get an, three versions of the same meeting notes. But if you're full on into loop already and you like being able to put that and save it somewhere else so it doesn't just live in the meeting, then the facilitator agent might be something that you want to try out when it comes out of preview. If you want to know more about getting all of your loop meeting notes into one place, then check out this video next. If you've got any value out of this video, remember to give us a thumbs up before you go, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time a new video comes out. And thanks for watching so far. See you in the next one.